Hi, this is Jason Shepard from The Anchor Room. I um, want to take just a couple of minutes to uh, give some details about the installation of the 0304 Cobra rear valance piece. Um, we're going to offer this in um, carbon fiber and probably regular vinyl as well, but the uh, number one intent obviously was um, to offer it in carbon fiber since that um, is what most of the um, fanatics out there are looking for. Um, I want to point out a few very specific things that may make your installation a little easier when you know these. Um, first and foremost, um, like with some templates, you will notice that the uh, layout looks awkward or looks strange on um, on a flat surface or on paper or the backing paper in this case. Um, I assure you it will uh, fit perfectly on a car. Um, be very patient when applying it um, and uh, you'll notice that uh, everything's there for a reason. Um, the first thing I want to point out is this um, circular piece um, that actually is going to be installed underneath of the vehicle. Um, I'll also show, we'll show a um, backup or, or a you know, closer video uh, in regard to that. And everything literally is here for a reason because this is the alignment steps um, that will originally get you to line this piece up, in, in this case on the driver's side. Um, and then you will um, smooth it on over to the other side and um, get the whole piece to, to lay exactly where you need it to. Depending on how familiar you are with the underside of your car, um, on the back side of the 0304 Cobra bumper, um, there's actually pieces that obviously keep it in place and keep it from flopping around. Um, we've also kept that in mind with the um, uh, you know, making of the template uh, for this piece. Um, as you can tell right here, there's relief cuts that have been made. Um, this is actually one of the pieces that will fold flat onto the support. Um, where the rest of them will actually wrap underneath the bumper as what they call a wind edge and um, hold this in place or I should say assist. Um, so every so often you will see a slit um, where it'll you know obviously help you place this piece first and foremost um, but in addition to that will serve the purpose of making sure that you don't have to do any trimming whatsoever um, to make the installation a little bit easier. We'll talk briefly about the actual material that we're using. This is the um, 3M 1080 series um, carbon fiber die knock. I guess the die knock is a, one of those names that's been given over time, but it's actually a pressure sensitive vinyl. With a lot of vinyls, um, you know, once you attach it to the surface, uh, removing it even to reposition it is daggone almost near impossible, um, hence the use of, you know, water or application fluid. This material is actually pressure sensitive and it's pretty unique. Um, I figured I'd show you on a flat surface at the back of my iPhone to give you an example of how well it works. Um, you know, this, this has not been applied with much pressure yet, um, except for that area there, as you can tell where it gets a little tougher. Um, but it has release channels, and the idea is that once you get it in place, you can flatten it down. And a lot of times you can even hear the air escaping. And at this point, it's not going anywhere. Um, so it's attached firmly, but like I said, it's the removing the air by using pressure, um, you know, to, to, like I said, to get the air out that actually enables this uh, material to stick. Very unique and um, uh, very nice stuff, to be truly honest with you. So um, in this case, again, uh, we're not using application fluid. We're not using water. Um, they actually strongly suggest not to. Um, with this product. Um, just again patience and don't apply too much pressure until um, you like where it sits and we'll be good to go. Alright, a couple tools that we're going to use today. Um, these are nice to have. They're not absolutely necessary. Um, we have a squeegee that happens to have a felt tipped edge. Um, this is definitely one of our favorite pieces um, because it uh, enables you to apply pressure without really damaging any kind of vinyl that you're putting on a car. And then our good old uh, microfiber towel, again, that allows you to apply some pressure while um, you know, making sure that you don't damage the film itself. Um, again, the, these are convenient to have during this installation. However, they're not absolutely necessary. If this is something that you are interested in, we do also sell a, a final installation kit. Um, but um, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to do my best to show you some of the alignment points in the... Um, I guess uh, methods to our madness here with the installation of this piece. Um, we are now actually underneath the vehicle, or I guess somewhat, as you can tell, there's the driver's side tailpipe coming out the back. So this is the bottom end of the uh, bumper. There's the tire, just to give you an idea. Um, and as you noticed, this circular piece right here, 
um, is what will actually line up with the top piece we talked about earlier which is the circular piece right here um, on the back of the actual piece now we're doing things in reverse here for I guess reason to make sure this video is not uh, too long um, the piece has already been installed on the car as you can tell um, and this corner was left loose so to give you an idea but the idea is for you to line the circular portion up with that piece underneath the car as you can tell it just pushed it down remember this is some pressure sensitive material um, and as you apply pressure to this area and I'm just using my thumb at this point um, it has a tendency to start uh, sticking it uh, doesn't want to go anywhere you have this nice groove here too working that back and forth with your finger or in the case of you know if you have one nice squeegee just using that felt side um, and then the uh, pieces on top here um, as you can tell look you can just apply pressure and they like to start to stick now here it'd probably be best if you use something like a heat gun um, this is like plastic it has its memory so once it folds into that groove um, it's going to uh, like to stay in place which is great but as you can tell I'm just literally using my finger and my fingernail and um, applying pressure while going around a little bit at a time and um, there's absolutely no issue she's um, staying right in place so um, it literally is that easy so there's the uh, rest of the piece it's uh, not 100% complete um, but at least it gives you an idea next I want to talk to you a little bit about the underside and the uh, the wind edge and the pre-cut pieces we talked about earlier I'm going to do my best to try to rotate this underneath the car so you can get an idea of um, the exact uh, you know idea behind these relief cuts um, as you can tell there's one there there's another one a little further down let me see if I can find it for you real quick there she goes a little further up right there um, I'm going to rotate this underneath the car so you can get a good idea of the whole I you know why we made those relief cuts you see there's the bumper support um, and that uh, will create the wind edge um, I'm going to point out something else real quick I purposely left a bubble in the fabric um, and this is where the whole release channel technology comes in place but using a squeegee you just literally just work that right on down or if you don't have those tools really as simple as using your thumb and just using the uh, just moving that air towards the bottom now you see this edge we have here and that's what we call that wind edge um, we're going to take that and literally just fold it under and now you're going to really see the use of these relief cuts which are going to actually sit flush on the support since they cannot fold over and under um, and folks that is um, truly as easy as she is again um, I realize that you guys probably don't do this on a daily basis um, so it probably looks a lot easier than it truly is um, however you know patience and uh, you'll get that piece to look absolutely fantastic um, again I appreciate you guys support and um, keep the rubber on the road have a good one